with Ronaldo Cumberbatch. Number two is the Dean Betts 20. Owned by Two Points Stable. Trained by Blair Miller with Alexis Batista. Number three is Swedeville. Owned by Three Way Stable. Trained by Jack Robertson with Christopher Husband. Number four is Firecracker Day. Owned by Marge and Ken Patterson. Trained by Marge Patterson with Tyrone Nelson. Number five is Smarter Than Mama. Owned by Jan and Gregory Bochi. Trained by Jerry Gorno with Shabby and Chow. Number six is Cleared of All Charges. Owned by Marvin and Deb Buffalo. Trained by Marvin Buffalo with Paul Nolan. Rounding out the field is number seven, Fabulous Gold. Owned by Starfield Stable. Trained by Tanya Lindsay with Travis Cunningham. Post time for race number four, the Borland Construction Park. And they'll be set. They're at the post. And they're off. From the inside, the Dean Betts 20. Going straight after the early lead, but now cleared of all charges. We'll take over. Sitting back in second is the Dean Betts 20. Moving up, Swedeville and Fabulous Gold. Then it's a gap of a length back to Smarter Than Mama. And then Firecracker Day and the trailer will be Boog's Angel. They went the opening quarter in 25 and 3. Cleared of all charges. Is clear on the lead by a length and a half. Swedeville in a perfect stalking position in second on the outside. In third is Fabulous Gold. Then tucked in at the rail, the Dean Betts 20. On the outside, smarter than Mama. And then it's about four lengths back to Firecracker Day. And Boog's Angel has about a dozen to make up. They went to half in 50 and 3 and cleared of all charges. Still looking comfortable through a half of 50 and 3. Swedeville's in an all-out drive. On the inside, the Dean Betts 20. Still in the thick of things on the outside. Making a move. Smarter than Mama. But it's all cleared of all charges. Who has the advantage? By four. Cleared of all charges at the eighth part. 16th pole is going to take this one with the greatest of ease. Second's going to be Swedeville. And a late rally for third for Firecracker Day. And fourth goes to the Dean Betts 20. Now entering the winner's enclosure is the official winner of race number four, the Borland Construction Purse. That's number six, cleared of all charges. Cleared of all charges is a bay gelding, three years old by Dixie Union, out of the mare decades of style by AP Indy. Owned by Marvin and Deb Buffalo, trained by Marv Buffalo, and ridden a victory by Paul Nolan. Time for the seven and a half furlongs, one thirty-five and four. Race 4 is official, and ladies and gentlemen, here are your official combo payoff, which is combo number 1, pays $10. For a $2 Quinella box, using the number 6 and 3, which is combo number 2, pays 490 